There we go. Wow. Hello gamers, it's ASAP. Welcome back to the channel. My name is ASAP Gamer and I am your host for today's video and today we are going to be unboxing True Innovations Gaming Chair. Let's get it unboxed, shall we? Alright gamers, just like I said just a few seconds ago, we're going to be unboxing the True Innovations Gaming Chair. So, let's go ahead and uh, get our trusty knife. Boom. Got our trusty knife here and we're going to just cut this open and see what's inside. Got this at Walmart for $100 and uh, hopefully the price is worth it because... My other option was to get another chair that was $130 and uh, decided to go with the cheaper one. Hopefully my decision pays off, quite literally. Mm -hmm. And just a disclaimer, I am not sponsored by True Innovations or Walmart for this gaming chair. This is a personal review. Cool? Cool. Alright, so now that it appears that we got all of the taping cut, just kidding, no I didn't. So now that we got the tape all cut up, let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. Oof, a little do not return notice. That's not always a good sign, but this chair didn't even come with any kind of warranty, so it's whatever. So we're gonna be removing this slate of cardboard here. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. And then we've got some bubble wrap with uh, what appears to be the armrest. Yeah, this is one of the armrests here. We're actually gonna put that over there, get that ready for Assembly, assembly, and a more bubble wrap holding the other armrest. Oh wait, no. These look like, yeah, they, this is definitely an armrest, yeah. And then we open, we take off, uh, let's see here. What's easiest to grab? Okay, so here are the wheels for it. We're gonna put those on in just a moment. And uh, let's see here, we got some hardware to help us put this all together. Looks like an Allen key with a bunch of screws and screw plugs, and then more stuff in the box. Uh, and this appears to be the axle where all of the wheels get to sit on, on the edges there. We're also gonna put that right there. And then for the main event, the actual chair and backrest, the actual part of the seat and whatnot. Let's see here. This looks to be the air pump. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll go ahead and put that over here. And then let's get the rest of this out. Okay, so now that we got all the parts of the chair out of their packaging and ready for assembly, let's go ahead and get into the assembly time lapse. Ready and go. Okay, I kind of wanted to take a break from this just to kind of show you guys my progress so far. So we've gotten the wheels on the stars thing here on the axles and we were able to get that all assembled up and uh, we even got the air thing in here. Um, that wasn't supposed to come off like that, but that's okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Uh, we were able to get the arms on. Uh, the thing is about these arms is once you get the first one on, that's pretty breezy, but then you get the second arm on, the tension from that first arm that you put on is kind of whack. So if you were to get this chair and you were assembling it, what I recommend is, is that you screw on the bottom two screws before you screw in those two. Because, um, yeah, I ended up having to take one of the top screws out because I started out from the top thinking it would be better that way, but no. You start from the bottom, go your way up. So, yeah. All right guys, and here is the finished assembly of the chair. I decided to take 
to just remove these because they were a little finicky and they look and they feel and look cheap as hell so i don't really need those that much so we're just going to discard those and take a look at this it was actually pretty simple to get this chair assembled the instructions were nice and clear and easy it's just that i had a little bit of trouble getting the arms on because i'm i just wasn't doing it very well so uh yeah now it's time to actually sit in it and give it a good old review all right gamers as you can see i am currently sitting in the chair it feels comfortable uh it feels high quality the air pump works i would say <laughs> so uh yeah you just pull the lever well let me get up first you just pull the lever and then just sit on it again to bring it down just like that and it's nice and fluid with the going up and down parts so every moving part works the wheels they don't squeak at all whenever I move the chair around, and I feel like I could game in this chair for hours and hours. I mean, it's got good lumbar support. Um, my one gripe about this chair is that it's kind of short in the head. I mean, it doesn't really have a designated headrest, but um, it would be nice. Yeah, it would be nice to have something to lean my head back on, but I mean, my previous chair doesn't have that kind of option either, so... It's not a big deal. It's just that, you know, I'm six foot three and sometimes I like to like lean my head back sometimes. But other other than that, I have no other complaints about this chair. I mean, what's really cool about this is that you can put the armrests up like so, and you can kind of have a little bit more freedom with where you put your arms. So, but I mostly keep the armrests down because, you know, it's just more comfortable. But um, yeah, it's a good chair for the money. It's a good chair. Okay, so my final thoughts about this chair is that I highly recommend it if you are, you know, looking for a chair that you can, that you don't have to break the bank with, or just a regular chair that, you know, that you're not wanting to spend a lot of money on right now, and you could just like have a chair to get you by type of thing, and well, this has all the above check marks on it, and uh, yeah, it is a very good chair. I highly recommend it, and uh, for the price, very, very high quality. True Innovations really did a good job with this design. It looks cool, it's gamer-like, and that's exactly what I was looking for when I was looking for a chair. So, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a subscription and leave a like. Comment down below what you guys think about this chair and ask me some questions about the chair, like, does it get hot, do you sweat a lot in it? and you know stuff like that you know just ask me some questions down in the comments for any concerns that you have about the chair and i will be sure to answer all of them or as met or as much as i can but uh yeah that'll sign us out guys and um i'll see you all in the next one peace